Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a braid out that'll have people stop and stare. I start with blow dried hair. I blow dry it to stretch it because my hair gets tons of single strand knots if I don't. I know some of you are like, no, blow dryer, no. But as I mentioned in my natural anniversary video, I don't get heat damage. Blow drying for me actually helps my hair because it prevents tangles and knots, which prevents me having to cut it as often. I'm going to put olive oil on my hair just to soften it a little bit before I start the braid out. So I usually use Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie or Miss Jessie's Curly Meringue, but today I'm going to use Shea Moisture's Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk for the first time. So we'll see how it goes. I usually braid my hair while watching TV to make the time go by faster. Since I don't make straight parts in my hair, I don't need to use a mirror. I just like to separate my hair into four sections using my hands so that you won't have to cover the parts after taking the braids out. Oh yeah, and just so you know, my head is not bleeding. Any red stuff that you see on my head or my hands is because I touched up my hair color. Even though you like never see it on camera, my hair is red and I use Manic Panic so that stuff stains like every single thing it touches. So let's get to braiding. I do a total of eight braids. If I do more braids, they come out smaller and my braid out turns into a mop on my head. But if I do the braids any bigger and have less of them, the braid out comes out less defined. So eight is a pretty good number for me. Choose how many braids are best for you and your hair. As I get to the bottom of the braid, I twist it so it'll have a nice little coil on the end when I take it out. See that short piece in the middle? That's the piece I'm going to use to blend into a larger piece to create the twist.
When I finish it, my braids stick out a little bit, but no problem. Just slap a scarf on that baby and go to bed. Oh yeah, I also put a bonnet on too to protect the ends. Good morning. I be looking like a hood rat when I have my scarf on. Okay, so it's time to take the braids off. I'm not going to speed this part up because I want you to see how I handle my hair as I take the braids off. I don't mind frizz at all. I actually prefer like a big poofy braid out look over the tame defined look, but it's your choice. To make it more tame and defined, put oil on your hands as you take the braids out and be sure to take your time and avoid just running your hands through your hair in order to prevent the frizz. For me, since I like the poofier look, I don't really care, I just take them out. <laughs> After all the braids are out, I get a pick and pick that baby out to add a little more volume and just to blend everything together. When you're done picking, just play with it and get the look you want. Shake your hair, use your hands, whatever you need to do. And of course I gotta brush them edges down. Can't be having no nappy roots. But no worries, the brush is really soft. And there you have it. Perfect braid out on dry hair. Work it, work it girl. Yes, work it. Thanks for watching guys, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh yeah, and thumbs up this video if you want to see more hair videos. Alright, see you guys next week. Bye.